One job I did that I think I'd rather forget was a, a hothouse in Tipuki. It was one of the most unpleasant jobs that I'd ever done. So we were grafting kiwi fruit seedlings, bad kiwi fruit seedlings, and they were in beds about three and four deep. Very awkward angles to get at, um, canes poking in the eye, and difficulty all round. The most difficult aspect was dealing with the 50 degree temperature daily. But we got there in the end. So we were doing whip and tongue grafts, and uh, I, I prefer this graft it's one of the most robust and reliable grafts you can do. Use my trusty sign-on grafting shears. Um, I would prepare a few uh, rootstocks at, at a time and then select graft wood and I would then mix and match the, the different uh, whip lengths and diameters. I find that if you don't over um, complicate things it's much easier and simpler to do the task at hand. So just a few signs to select from. I'd use my shears to cut a, a whip length and then put the tongue in. The whip length is normally three to four times the diameter of the material and the tongue goes in about a third of the way from the tip. And there we go, placing them, just selecting the best matches that I've got in my hand. and trying to get the best matches that I can. If the, if the diameter is a little bit out, just line up on one side. Those canes were very awkward to duck in and out of. I don't know how many times I got poked in the head and shoulder. Um, they did draw blood at times. So while I was going ahead uh, placing the signs, I had a taper following up, um, sealing the graft. We used buddy tape and a dab of paint on the tip of the sign. Great product buddy tape, very easy to apply. That um, taper on the end there you see, that makes it a little bit easier to place the sign into the jaw of the tool. Just speeds things up, makes 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 it a bit easier to judge where you're going to place the material in the jaw. Um, I used a pair of prototype shears on this job. I like to test them out in real world situations. Um, they're very much like the tools that we currently sell, but I just try a few things out just for my own um, purposes. Back to the table, new selection of material. I do. Uh, Pre-cut my signs. Um, on this job they were cut down to one bud signs. I did have to cut around uh, some damaged uh, buds. All I need is um, enough room to cut my whip cut below the bud. Now there were times that um, I would revert back to my knife. Um, reason being that the handles of the tools quite often got on, uh, the canes got in the way and there were some just awkward spots to, to, to get the um, whip cuts onto the sapling, seedlings. Um, don't worry, those, those shears were never far from my side. It was quite an enjoyable job even though it was unpleasant because I processed a lot of um, work. We, we ended up doing about um, 13,500 plants in this uh, hothouse. Uh, some of the plants were a bit on the small side the first time through so we went back at the end and patched up some of the smaller diameter material that had now grown to a reasonable size to graft. You'd be surprised how fast in that hothouse these plants grew. Um, some of the first grafts I put on, by the time I'd left, they'd grown by a hand in, in, in length. Um, they can grow up to a metre in a month in those hothouse conditions. Okay, so if you like what you see, and you want to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.